I'm Mac. I'm John. I'm Jim. Uh, we're in the band Super Chunk, and uh, we're going to tell you what's in our bag. We are in San Francisco, so I got a documentary on the black experience at Alcatraz, the Black Rock. They totally separated the blacks from the white. All black inmates was on the right and everybody else was everywhere else. So it was totally uh, segregated. I got, a, I got a Wayne Shorter record that I'm not familiar with. Uh, it was recorded in 1970, but based on the weird uh, cover art style, uh, it's more, it's probably released a few years later, it looks like. Amoebix. Ooh. Uh, crusty gutter punk from Is that England. late period? It's like maximum it, rock and roll stuff, right? I'm not sure. Yeah. It is either just three songs, but it's, one of them is Arise, which was an LP. Yeah. So it might be that it's, I don't know what it is. Beware of Mr. Baker, a new documentary on Ginger Baker. Uh, I've seen it a couple times and it's great. And um, he's everything you hear he is. The general public is so fucking dumb. The you know, like, that anybody could think that Bonham was anywhere near a, this kind of drummer I am. But it's just extraordinary. Bonham had technique, but he couldn't swing a fucking sack of shit. This is a, a record by Major Harris. It's called My Way, in which he does a version of My Way, which I haven't heard. Um, I think I've only heard the single, uh, Love Won't Let Me Wait, but it's it's a Philly soul record from a great era for Philly soul records. Regrets. I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. Leonard Bernstein conducting Mahler's Second Symphony, one of my favorite symphonies, and. I, I have probably six, seven, or eight, you know, performance of this, but this is Leonard Bernstein, who was my, uh, he was a speaker at my college graduation, and he handed me my diploma. Wow, wow. And then he, he died, uh, uh, he died shortly thereafter. I rewatched Citizen Kane recently, and it got me uh, thinking about William Randolph Hearst, and this is a documentary on him. And uh, I actually don't know a ton about him. Hearst, for his part, made his displeasure known so that if the film or Orson Welles were going to be mentioned at all, that's a big if, it would be in a negative light, and the film would be disparaged, or in many cases, ignored. Louis B. Mayer, his longtime friend and ally, called Charles Kerner, the head of RKO, and offered to buy the negative in order to burn it, in order to destroy it. And Kerner, to his great credit, said no. Have you been to Hearst Castle? What is it? You might, you, <laughs> you might want to go after you Oh, it's, where, you it's where he had all the stuff, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's, it's amazing. What, it's what, what, what do you call it was based on? Yeah. The thing in... Utopia. No, it was... It's was, uh, the name of the house. What's, what is it? Xanadu. 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 This is a Battalion of Saints record um, that I don't have, but I, the only time I ever saw Battalion of Saints was here in San Francisco. Jackie DeShannon, a, 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 a twofer. My favorite, one of my favorite songwriters, one of my favorite singers. And 
been cute as a button. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Just go ahead and say it. You know, she, she had a relationship with Jimmy Page. She's, you know, she's deep waters. What was her big hit? Uh, she wrote a lot of hits for other people. She's famous for Needles and Pins, but Sonny Bono actually wrote that. She didn't do, there was a, a Circle Jerk song that, I don't think she ever wrote for the Circle Jerk. Put a little love in your heart, is that her? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that is her. So, wow. full circle. Yeah. Um, Evocateur, a new documentary on Morton Downey Jr. that I've seen, and it's great. He related totally on an emotional level. There was no intellectual level for more. There's a process to the issue. Listen, Mr. Pickett, if I had a slime like you in the White House, I'd puke on you. His downfall comes when he goes into a restroom in an airport, and in order to get uh, press, he claims that he was beaten up by some white supremacists, and he paints a swastika on his uh, his forehead, but then it comes out that the swastika, it, it was obvious that it was written like it, in, in reverse, like in a mirror. So. That was a great era of television. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is, um, it's called Brand New Way of Funk, Fast Times, and Nigerian Boogie Badness. There's so many compilations and reissues of um, African music, but a lot of it is based in the 60s and 70s. So this is like an era that it's not covered as much, like early 80s, so I'm looking forward to hearing this. It's a brand new Wyo! Gore Guts, new release, technical death metal from Quebec. We were reading a review of it in the New York Times on the plane this morning, and it, I'm sure I'll hate it, but you know, every once in a while, like Meshuggah, bands like that, they fill exactly what you need in the day. This is a copy of Off the Wall by Michael Jackson. Um, our, we recently gave our daughter a turntable for her birthday, and uh, we listen to Michael Jackson a lot on my iPod, on my iPod but uh, I thought it'd be cool if she had a, an actual copy of a Michael Jackson record to listen to herself. And um, I don't have this on vinyl, and it's it's my favorite record by him. So, got off the wall. So tonight, gotta leave the nine to five up on the shelf and just enjoy yourself. Groove. Cool. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks thank for, you. Thanks thank for you. having us. Be back.